Jarihun wounded, Jarha. Asirun captive, Asra. Sariun Sara'a. What is the meaning of Sari? Sariun, brother? It means senseless. Senseless. Brother, this is for people who have epilepsy. That is Sariun. Huh? Next word, brother and sisters? Ahmak. Amka. Okay. Stupid. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. Now we come to the next important thing, which is kind of a very important, brothers and sisters. I want to go to the key. But before I go, I want to rub off the board, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, please open page number 119 in your key. Section number 6. If the monada is a noun with the pronoun of the first person singular as its mudafilehi. It has five different forms. It has five different forms. Okay. Number one. Ya Rabbi. Okay. This is the original form. But, huh? Okay. Ya Arfunida. Rabba is Munada. Wahua Mudaf. And then Ya Mutakal Mudaf Ilehi. Now, Ya Rabbi. Here, the Ya has been omitted. And this is what I sometimes tell you jokingly. Ya Aiti. Apni Nishani Chorge. What I said, Sister Mahamuna, Ya had come, left her sign, and went away. So, this is Ya Rabbi. And now, brothers and sisters, we have Ya Rabbi Ya. What happened here? The Ya is retained, but has Fatah now. Still, it is Mudah Mudah Okay? This is also. Permissible. Then we have Ya Rabba. Ya is omitted and the last letter has Fata. Okay. The last one, brother. Ya Rabba. The Ya is omitted and the last letter has Fata and Aleph. But actually, we can say the Ya turned into Aleph. Ya turned into Aleph. Are you looking in the book, brothers and sisters? The last form takes Hau Sakti. What is that, brother? Hau Sakti. At the end. Ya Rabba. Huh? Okay. Now, Dr. Sab is talking to us. I have put all the five forms in this mnemonic. What is the meaning of mnemonic, brothers and sisters? Something that will assist us in memorization. That will assist us in memorizing it. This has been done. It is designed to help us in memorizing Okay, what is it, brothers and sisters? Rabbi, which is the most common in the Quran. Followed by Rabbi with Ya, and then Rabba, and then Rabba, and the finally Rabbi Ya. The final is Rabbi Ya. Okay? The first form, Rabba, is the most frequently used in the Quran. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Fine. Let us read the text, inshallah. Rabbi Arini, Huna Rabbi Asluhu, Ya Rabbi. Hudifa Minhu Harfunida. Is it clear? You can follow without my translating it, inshallah. Hudifa Minhu Harfunida, 
ও ইয়াও মুতাকালিম হারফু নিদা হ্যাজ বিন ওমিটেড এন্ড ইয়াও মুতাকালিম ইজ ওমিটেড হাদা মিসাল মোনায়দা আল মুদাফ এলা ইয়াই মুতাকালিম দিস ইজ এ এক্সাম্পল অফ মোনায়দা ব্রাদার সিস্টার্স বাট ইট ইজ ওয়াট ইজ দ্য স্পেশালিটি হিয়ার that mudaf ilayhi is ya mutakallam we are only taking the examples we are trying to understand when the noun is mudaf and mudaf ilayhi is ya mutakallam that's it only in this form we are studying okay ya juzu fi ya ihi khamsatu abjuhin brother what is this abjuhin Uh, what is singular wajhun this is your singular what is plural brother av ju or brother wujuhun two plurals ha huh? কাসরাবি হাজা হুয়া আকসার দিস ইজ দ মোস্ট ফ্রিকুয়েন্ট নাম্বার টু ইফ বাতুল ইয়াই সাকিন আতান মিনস দ এভিডেন্স অফ ইয়া ইজ দেয়ার এন্ড ইট হ্যাজ গড সুকুন ইন ইট ইয়া রাবি ওকে শোয়িং অফ ইয়া উইথ সুকুন হাজা Dun al-awwali fi kasrati. This is, this comes after the first one. And it's used. Huh? Means it is used less than the first one. Huh? Isbatul yai maftu hatan. Means, brothers and sisters, instead of kasra, the ya got a fata. Qalbul yai Alifan. What is the meaning of this? The overturning of Ya into Alif. Nahwi. Ya Rabba. Wa qad talhakuha hao sakti indal waqfi. And when you stop it, then you have to add to it the silent Ha. Example. Ya Rabba. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Number five. Kalbul yai, alifan. First the ya is changed into alif. And then you drop the alif also. Wa hasfuha. Wa stignau anha. Bil fatahati. Nahu. Ya rabba. Brother, what is the meaning of istagna? Huh? To be satisfied. Huh? Form 10. Write down, brother. It will always come with an... or be to be satisfied to do without to dispense with 